So we've got two cute little doggies. They're called Chandler and Joey. Joey we got first and we named him because he would try to hump everything that moves. And then Chandler came along a few years later and we called him Chandler just because he was a pal of Joey. But the characters are quite different. Joey is calm and clever and Chandler is an airhead who's cute and cuddly. Chandler is a panicker when storms come. In fact, he can tell you there's a storm coming about two hours before it gets here. And when the storm comes, he's like manic escape artist. He just got to get out of the way of it, wherever he thinks he's going, I don't know, but he's got to get somewhere else. And yesterday he got somewhere else. We got a call from the RSPCA to say that they had him. It's now my priority number one to fix gaps and fences that he might be able to get out of. We're pretty sure that he escaped through this gate yesterday. It's uh, self-closing hinges. and held closed with magnets but we think he has learned to get his nose in between and open it himself so simple solution we've got this um uh what do you call it zip zip tie we just put it over two loops there it's actually probably a bit too loose so i'll tighten that up so that's an easy fix but the problem yesterday was I forgot to put the loop on before I went out somewhere so that's my bad so I think that one we don't need to worry about as long as we remember to put the loop on but granddad forgot yesterday so granddad's in the bad books the other place he can get out or we thought he was getting out was over here and actually this is all falling apart anyway so I gotta fix this up today Well, I have a wee confession to make. I finished the job without filming because it got really hot and humid and I was, uh, that's the dog's backside. <laughs> and I was running out of patience and energy and time because it actually started raining before I finished. So this one, is done make and do style. Make and do with what I have around the place without spending extra money on it, except for hinges and a latch. But even though it's make and do and it doesn't look the prettiest, it's actually pretty good. Let me give you a quick tour. That's it. 
it's actually not just a regular latch it's got springs inside it so that is forced to stay down when it uh, connects the way escape power just can't get out yeah yeah it's bolted to the ground there for rigidity it's bolted to the fence uh, it's got metal strips along the bottom uh, there's one in the middle between the two of them as well and one on top a metal strip so it's quite rigid and they can't get out but we can now use this as a thoroughfare which we couldn't do before today's job which looks like a small one but probably won't be is I need to take about 75 mil off of that extrusion there that that piece of the door frame take about 75 mil off that I'm not taking it all out uh, I don't need to but the ply the uh, plasterboard wall that's on the other side of there in the t existing toilet I'm leaving in place so that needs to go back just a little bit so I can plaster the whole thing out to there in one plane if you know what I mean so just taking a slice off of that so that won't affect its weight bearing properties I'm sure just say 75 mils off of it be fine won't it yes it will Brian so what I'm going to do is get a diamond tipped blade on my angle grinder and grind a nice sharp line in the plaster there and then jackhammer the back out of it. But as long as I keep a nice sharp line there, that'll help me later on when I go to plaster it. Too heavy. I can't control it. Might be okay lower down.
It's only because I was at the gym this morning. I'm already worn out. But that actually worked. I'll just tidy it up with a chisel now. Hammer and chisel, I mean. That only took me maybe 20 minutes of, no, maybe half an hour of chiseling and all the rest. It wasn't much easily done, but I'm wrecked because that jackhammer is very heavy. And I already did shoulders and arms at the gym today, so I've had enough. I'm only doing destruction in there at the moment I don't want to do anything constructive until the plumber comes and hopefully that's this week there's the view by the way beautiful today so that's me for another day this chisel I've probably told you before all you old guys that watch me but the new, for the newer guys, that chisel, I made that myself. Great chisel. That was uh, part of my basic training in the army. Tool making for Raimi. Royal Australian Electrical and Mechanical Engineers. And that was one of the first things we made in a blacksmith shop, made from, uh, leaf springs from a car and then I chromed it when it was finished and it's holding up well I've used that for years and years and years it's a great joke anyway me done today Monday the hold my watch way 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 over there I might be able to see it the 4th of December so over and out from me, like, if you like this video, click the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you on the next video, coming soon.